after Air Force One did touch down in Portland, President Biden did make his first stop in southeast Portland at a volunteer event with Oregon Democrats at the SEIE Local 49 office. Our Joelle Jones was out there covering the event. She joins us live with the details and this part of what happened tonight. Joelle? Well, Liz, out there in southeast Portland, residents were lining the street to try to catch a glimpse of President Biden as he surprised workers. Those inside the event tell us his presence and commitment to the efforts of grassroots volunteers has really reinforced their mission. I assume you're clapping for the donuts. Roughly an hour after Air Force One landed in Portland, President Joe Biden visited the SEIU Local 49 office to round up support for Democratic candidates ahead of the upcoming elections. This is, I think, the most important off-year election that we've had in since Roosevelt's time. I, I mean that sincerely, because so much is at stake. If we are able to keep the House and keep the Senate, we can continue to do the things we've been doing, which are really going to make change the country. After his speech, the president put on a headset and began making cold calls along with volunteers, all while greeting and feeding members of the local Democratic Party. After hugging and handing out donuts alongside the president, we caught up with Dr. Rosa Colquitt, vice chair of the Democratic Party of Oregon. And I sat and listened to him make calls. He was making calls with Marsha. And I think people were very surprised and taken aback. Is this guy on the other end of the line my president? Because he sounds like he's my next door neighbor. He's an absolutely wonderful person, and it was amazing, and I feel so humbled and grateful. We also spoke to governor candidate Tina Kotek, who had this to say about the president's visit. So amazing when the president comes to Oregon. You can see the excitement. He knows what's at stake in this election, and he really cares about who's running from my race to Senator Wyden's race. So we made a lot of phone calls tonight, and he was right in there with us. Now, during that event, we're told activists made over 10,000 calls. And of course, some of those calls came from our very own president. Reporting live in downtown Portland tonight, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News. Joelle, thank you.